Hey kids, this is clear. Let's play Golden Sun the Lost Age. Today on Golden Sun the Lost Age, we're going this way. What's this way? I don't know. What's this way is apparently... Ooh! Buried stuff. If I'm not mistaken, that is Mithril Silver, which we can use to smith Mithril Armor, or maybe a Mithril Sword. Or something. Who cares? Let's kill this Minos Knight. With Jenna's theme. Except not really, because now she has to move back to the back of the party. In her place, we will put Sheba. So I wonder what music they will get instead. Ooh, it is a mystery to everyone. Alright. Yes, we can jump over this now. Going this way, we can jump over that. Oh, I guess if you have just these people, you have, uh... You have whose music? This is Felix's theme. So I guess it first checks to see if Isaac is leading the party, and if it is, it puts his music. No, first it checks... Okay, I've got how it works. It checks first if Felix is there, and then it plays his music as a default. Then it checks to see if Isaac is there, and it plays his music. Then it checks to see if Janet plays her music. If none of them are present, it's the default, which is Felix's music. Anyway, this area should clue you off that you need to heal. And heal I shall. Here we go. This is the Guardian of Fire. If we want his power, we have to prove himself in our Crucible of Flame. And completely screw up how pronouns work. Music sound familiar? That's because each of the bonus bosses uses music that was in another game at another point, at another time, at another hemisphere. And we don't have much in the way of buffing characters, but that's okay, because we can swap out if we need to. Anyway, each of these bonus bosses has a gimmick of some sort. Balakar's gimmick is that he will stun your genies, setting them on standby, and then he will use your stunned genies to summon. He also takes two actions a turn. So the trick, therefore, is to summon before he can. For example, I summon Megara. Thanks for the free buff, dude. And then Ramses. As you may have guessed by this point, Balukar is really not worth the trouble it takes to fight him. But even so, you get one of the most awesome summons in the game for beating him, so it's well worth the effort even so. Also, balls. Here is Sibel! Whee! Ow. Fortunately, his summons don't do nearly as much damage as yours, and once he summons them, they remain on standby as usual. Alright, you heal everyone. Ha, have some mercury, dude! Alright, more gin stun. Alright. You just attack as normal. You summon Nerid, you summon Ramses, you summon Axe to the face. Yeah, hope you like turtles! Another Jin stun. Ha, keep you from summoning Judgment, why don't we? And it is possible to skip the summon animations if you're so inclined. I'm not because they're cool, but... Oh yeah, also he can do a normal attack with stun, so, you know, be careful. Alright. And then Megara. You summon Ramses, and you summon Wishwell. Alright, that's another attack boost for us. Hmm. 
Another gin stun. Oh, what the hell? Who's calling me right now? I'm busy fighting Valukar. One moment. Ah, uh, it's just as well. It's probably another spam. I never get any good calls. I just get people going like, Did you know you can extend your credit limit by doing this and this? And I don't care, okay? I have more amusing priorities to attend to. Like summoning. Alright, here, have a Zaga into the face. Pow! Alright, I didn't lower his defense, because, you know, the bosses are pretty much immune to debuffs, but... Hey, it did damage. This is a rather earth-heavy team, isn't it? Unfortunately, sir, you have made a grave mistake. And now we are going to exploit the hell out of that mistake. Alright, you summon Zagon again. You summon Judgment! Now hang on, you summon Venus and you summon Mercury. That'll boost your healing in the event that we need to heal. Whee! Boink! Haha, <laughs> you're toast. It's Judgment Day! Judgment Day is when we nuke the planet. He's got a lot of health, but he doesn't vary his tactics any more so than this. We don't have any Jupiter Genie on this team. Oh no, it is Zagan! Ow. Fortunately, he does piss poor damage to us. Alright. And my computer's telling me all this cool stuff I could be doing if I went and clicked the dumb button, but I don't want to. Can I use resist? Yes, I will do that then. Oh no, you summoned Venus. Now Shiba can't summon Venus. It doesn't have enough standby genie. Alright. I have no idea how close this guy is to dying. I hope he dies soon, because... You know, there's only so much of this summon dance you can watch. Yeah, have some cutting edge and some hitting you with a stick and more gin stun. Oh, hey, we do have Jupiter genies. Let's see what we can summon at you then. Ooh, Flora, yes, please. And Gera, and then Zagan, and then Mercury. Have some flower petals and a girl with leaves for ears. Ooh, razor sharp. I don't think you need to stun that many genies, seriously. Why aren't you dead yet? There we go. Everyone in this party gained a level, I bet. Oh, Mia didn't. Anyway. We still have some on standby, but let's see. Anyone in the back party? No, we're good. Let's see what we won today, boys and girls. Daedalus. Daedalus is my favorite summon in the game. And I will show you why later. Right now, though, we need to retreat. We have everything we need from this dungeon. This donjon, as it were. Let's teleport to Yalam so we can heal up and forge stuff out of the stuff we've got. Like that stardust. Are you excited? Because I'm excited! And then we're going to tackle the next of the bonus dungeons. As soon as I remember which one I hate the least. Because they both have very difficult bosses at the end of them. 
I'm just trying to remember which one has the boss I hate with less. Yeah, I can't recall it for the life of me. I'll have to look up a guide or something. Oh no, I'm using a guide to learn things about the game I'm supposed to be LPing. Which means I'm supposed to have any knowledge of every single property that ever existed in this game. Well, no, I don't, okay? It's a good game. I've played it a lot. I like the game. That's why I want to show it to you. I'm not showing it to you because I want to show you all these cool tips and tricks I've learned that you haven't and that you are completely ignorant of and therefore a complete heathen in the ways of Golden Sun. And if you even so much as think of buying the sequel without being so thoroughly educated, you are a blight upon your fellow Golden Sun fans, if you dare to count yourself among their number! But naturally I don't think like that, because that would be just a jerk thing to do. So, let's see what I just forged out of my Stardust. Another Lunar Shield. Boring. Lunar Shields are boring and so are you. I guess we'll give it to... We'll give it to you. Forge stuff out of the Aura Halkin now, or the Dark Matter, I don't care. Forge stuff! Stuff, 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 stuff! One moment while we do that. Hello! Give me the stuff with the stuff! Ooh! The Dark Sword! Now, the Dark Sword is actually one of the neat items. As you can see, it's got an attack bonus of plus 210. That is the highest attack bonus there is in the game out of any weapon ever. Downside being, of course, it's cursed. And the Unleash is okay, but it's not great, so... I guess if you like to look at stats and not much else, and by all means, go for the Dark Sword, but there's better weapons you can get, usually. Also, if you absolutely have to have someone who wields cursed equipment, make sure it's someone who can wield the Dark Sword, for obvious reasons. Anyway, let's see what we get out of the Aura Halkin now. If we get the Legendary Sword that is super rare, you have like a 1% chance of getting it because the RNG hates you, that would be pretty cool, but I don't think we're going to do that. Nope, another Ixion Mail, Xylion Armor, whatever. It's the, it's the one that has an X in it. Alright, we will give it to... I don't know. Let's give it to Garrett, I guess. And then we'll give your Ninja Guard to someone. By someone, I mean no one! And then... You had a dragon shield. Is that can that go to anyone? No, it cannot. And you're a fool for thinking so. Anyway, I got one other thing. That's right, the mithril silver. So one moment while I figure out what that gets us. My ear itches. All right, mithril clothes. They raise your evasion, and they're good armor, but not the best. Actually, are they clothes or are they armor? Oh, they're clothes, so you can equip them as like a shirt or something, I guess. That, that is actually really cool. So, uh... Oh, what the hell, we'll give it to Ivan. Oh wait, they do replace your robe. So the Ardag robe go to Shiba, and her Muni robe will go to... NO ONE EVER! Alright, and I'm clear, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Next time, the next bonus dungeon.